Well, you may have seen it on your way to work or school or just driving around. A new billboard has some people thinking about the Earth. And asking the question, could the Earth be flat? Hmm. Greg Argos is here with more on the movement that is taking on centuries of scientific research, yes. Greg. It really yes. is, guys. And Yuki Jess, this was just unveiled uh, just yesterday, in fact. This billboard, a digital billboard unveiled yesterday, and it's calling into question a theory most of us has, have accepted that the Earth, of course, is round. But those behind this billboard say, well, we've all been tricked. Drivers heading eastbound on the Schuylkill already battle some serious traffic. But now there's another distraction slowing them down, and it's just 100 feet above their heads. No, no. I think it's pretty ridiculous. They're missing a lot. Sandwiched between two insurance ads is this bold three-word billboard, Research Flat Earth. I know about these, these folks. I can't believe this is for real. <laughs> that they have some very hard concrete evidence evidence <laughs> that they've convinced themselves that the earth is flat. We believe this is something that needs to be talked about. Math Powerland purchased the ad. 900 bucks a week for that one. He's a member of the Infinite Plane Society whose members believe the earth is flat. He says NASA's pictures and spacewalks showing a curved earth are all made up. We believe it's all faked. All of it's in front of CGI, augmented virtual reality. The spacewalks are for the most part done in desalinated water tanks. They're stuck in like 1492. Actually more like 330 BC. The Greek mathematicians figured out that the Earth is round simply by looking at the angle of shadows in different places on the surface of the planet. Derek Pitts, the Franklin Institute's chief astronomer, says it's fine to have different opinions, but when there is concrete evidence to the contrary, you have to accept reality. We've been able to observe lunar eclipses from Earth. The only way you can make a curved shadow is if you have a curved object that blocks the light. And for at least the next week, this ad will be blocking drivers' attention. I guess it's not the worst thing to spend your money on, but I guess there's more important things than whether or not the earth is flat. We definitely need to get a new hobby. I mean, I could use that money. <laughs> <laughs> now, Philadelphia is the first city this billboard was introduced. Math Powerland says he chose our city simply because of economics. As you heard, the cost for a week was under a thousand bucks. Now, he says he plans to unveil other ads in Phoenix and Denver in the coming weeks, and he's actually getting a lot of hits on his website. 900 bucks a week. What's, what's he do? He's out How of New Mexico. I don't know, actually. He sells um, bags with flat earth maps. He sells flat earth maps for your home. Maybe different we get in the sizes. Coasters. <laughs> Coasters. <laughs> no. Coasters. Right. Coasters. You name it. I mean, it's all there. Coasters. All right, Greg. We're going <laughs> to keep an eye on that billboard. End to the sky. Keep